Yo, what is going on guys, it's Rex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video, and in today's video, I would love to talk about Crimson. So, I was using Crimson because I got the Catalyst to drop for me, and honestly, I thought might as well grind some Gambit while I'm trying to upgrade this Catalyst, and that is when I realized that this weapon was actually pretty decent. So, um, obviously I'm going to tell you guys why I think it is good, obviously I'm going to tell you some downsides to it but overall i think this weapon is just a little bit underrated uh i know it's like not forsaken so a lot of people aren't too hyped about it or whatever it's 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 old it's it's yesterday's news whatever but um a lot of the old exotics are still extremely extremely relevant most of them are still more relevant than ever uh, especially this weapon. So if you guys did not know what Crimson does, this weapon auto reloads every time you get a precision kill. It also starts your health regen every time you get a kill with it. Doesn't have to be precision for the health regen, uh, but it auto loads your mag every time you get a precision kill, which is absolutely awesome. So basically, what this allows you to do in Gambit is absolutely tear through smaller enemies. I mean, if you can just put a burst into each enemy's head, I mean, this thing will allow you to shoot for a while. And I was debating on making a video about the sweet business also, just because that thing kind of rips it up in Gambit if you can get it spinning up super fast. And you have some reload abilities, whether it's Luna Faction boots or a Hunter Dodge or something like that. Uh, you can make the sweet business pretty nasty. But I think the Crimson almost does it better just because it's already integrated in the weapon and you don't have to make your whole build around it. Um, while we're seeing this PvP clip here, uh, it is also quite decent for invaders and invading just in case you ever have to pull out your primary. Um, I know a lot of people use their crutch aka sleeper simulant when they invade, but if you ever have to pull out your primary to finish off a kill or anything like that, Crimson isn't horrible. It's definitely not the best, it's definitely not in Ace of Spades or something like that, but it is far from the worst primary you can have to engage somebody in a PvP battle. But this weapon allows you to be hyper aggressive in Gambit. I mean, you'll be racking up moats so fast just because... Uh, your health will be constantly regening if you're getting kills. You have to make sure to hit precision shots. And I really found this easiest on Cabal just because I feel like I, their hitbox is so generous, it feels like, for the precision shots. I mean, obviously, you can do it with any enemies, but I just found Cabal easiest. Um, but it allows you to be hyper aggressive because your health is constantly being regened and you're constantly auto reloading which is absolutely amazing it's like this gun was made to just slay and a lot of people I remember used to use this gun in PvP although I do think it excels in PvE also so it's really best of both worlds which is what Gambit is um, it just allows you to slay man you can totally rip it up you can take out whole hordes of enemies without having to reload without with an end with full health just because you're constantly regening it is absolutely awesome so the negative to this crimson is that if you don't hit your shots then you i mean the reload is not very fast which is unfortunate um so in this clip here this is when i first started using crimson and i was first trying to figure it out um now, as I'm speaking of Crimson, I have about 700 enemies defeated with it, or at least that's what my uh, my kill counter is. So now I have figured out recoil patterns a lot more and things like that, so I am much more able to control the burst and make sure I don't have to reload. In some of these clips, I'm reloading a little bit too much for my liking, but now it's much, much better. Um, but you have to make sure you're hitting your shots. Take time if you only have one or two bursts left just to make sure you hit the head with it. And another downside to this is that you do have to give up, give up your crutch, aka your sleeper simulant. I know, I know you guys need this to get invasion kills, um, but um, unfortunately, you're just you're just gonna have to give it up for a little bit, guys. Uh, this this loadout I was running right here consisted of the crimson, a sniper that had triple tap, and what what is that other perk where you're crouching and you can reload super fast? Basically, I was reloading super fast, I was triple tapping for boss damage, I was using the sniper when I invaded, and for invaders, and then of course I have a trusty sword, which helps me DPS primeval, you just have a warlock put down a rift, or a rift or a well, right in front of primeval, you can just slash him up with the sword, 
but those are the disadvantages to crimson overall i would definitely give crimson a shot just because it is pretty damn nice in my opinion it is really fun to use just because you can slice super hard with it and it is pretty good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always please subscribe for more destiny 2 content lots more videos coming i try to push these out as fast as possible i really do i'm just super busy playing video games hanging out with friends tons of schoolwork, unfortunately on the grind right now but i hope you guys enjoy the video as always please subscribe for more destiny 2 overwatch and for honor content i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the digirex peace